Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on this pop-up frame and this is a called like a pop frame and it's really kind of an interesting look. What we're going to be doing today is creating a mesh for your border first and then we're gonna create this look afterwards. So what we're gonna do, let's turn it over and I'll show you. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create all the layers that you see here. So all the mesh work here and then once the mesh is done you're gonna come back and do all of the work just like you see here. So it's an interesting thing. So we have single crochets in the first, we then have halves, we have doubles and then we finish off with trebles. So today I'm gonna show you how to make this mesh and then I'll show you how to do these layers of, of what we're seeing here. So let's begin working on the mesh and the mesh is really easy. There's gonna be four rounds of mesh before you do the layers that you see in that sample. So we have to prepare it with the mesh first. So this, uh, let's insert our hook in and create a slip stitch to in order to attach and then we're gonna chain one and one single crochet in that space. So what we're gonna do is that there's always gonna be chain threes that separate things. So in the corner here, let's chain three, one, two, three, coming back into the same corner, you're going to single crochet. Now you're gonna chain three, so one, two, and three and jump to the next space here and single crochet. Now chain three, one, two, three, and then you're gonna keep going to spaces to spaces until you hit the next corner like I'm about to. So then you go in, single crochet first, then chain three, one, two, and three and coming back in, single crochet. So that's how you do your corners. So again, to start up another side is just one, two, three, chain three and keep jumping into the spaces. So one, two, three, one, two, three, jumping in the spaces. In this case, I'm hitting another corner. So when you hit the next corner, single crochet, chain three and single crochet. So please do that all the way around for the first time. So I'm now returning back to where I had started and I continue chain three and I've already done this corner so I just have to slip stitch it to the first single crochet. So don't single crochet in that final corner once again. You've already done it. So now you're gonna move up. So this is one of four layers that you're going to do. So let's uh, just grab the straggler here that we have and making sure that we kind of pin things together as we do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slip stitch to the first chain three in the corner itself and then we're gonna reactivate this corner. So chain one, single crochet into the same one, chain three, one, two, three and into the same corner you're going to do a single crochet again. So now you're gonna chain three, one, two, three and then jumping into this next space. See how I'm pinning that straggler with it? it'll get stuck with it so it'll be well hidden. So then one, two, and three go to the next space and you keep filling in these spaces as you go all the way to the next corner like so. Now as you get to the next corner, so one, two, three, you're gonna go into the corner and then chain three. One, two, three and go back into the same corner to fill that corner. Okay, so to start another side is one, two, three, Go into the next space, single crochet and then one, two, three, keep filling in these spaces with single crochets putting your chain threes in between and then as you hit the corners, fill them in. So single crochet, chain three and single crochet. So just like that. So one, two and three and keep on going. So what's gonna happen is that I want you to do uh, two more layers just like this one. So you had up with four. Again in the corners you're gonna put in your single crochet, chain three single crochets and then you keep filling in these gapping spaces as you go. When I come back I'll have those done for you and then we'll move on to showing you how to do the layers. So I'm just finishing my fourth layer of mesh. So I should have four layers that you see and then just join it to the beginning single crochet and then fasten that yarn off and we're going to start then working on layers. So the layers are really quite simple. It's just a matter that there's different counts uh, per layer and I will go through that in today's tutorial as well. Uh, I'm not gonna do all the layers with you live on camera. I'm gonna do and show you how to do it and then I'll explain the differences in the layers and you can see that also in the photograph that it does look slightly different from each other. So let's uh, begin to work on layer number one. We're gonna start from the inside and work our way out. So as we move to the doing the layers here, all the stitches in the middle here between the corners are always gonna be the same. There's always gonna be only four of whatever stitch that we're gonna do. We're gonna do single, half double, double and treble. The difference is it's on the corner. So the first corner is that the first one, two and three will all have five 
double crochets in there to make that turn just like you see and the final one will have seven. Okay, so it'll be five, five, five and seven. So let's review again. So in the middles all of these stitches no matter what size it will be will always be four. You see that there and then in the corners it'll be five, five, five and seven. So let me show you how to apply that. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start on the inside uh, ones and then work our way outward. So what we need to do is that we need to get our first color that we would like to do. So it's gonna be single, half double, double and treble. Just remember that there's four. So you wanna look at each one of these lines as a round. So one, two, three and you wanna go around this fourth one right here. So what we need to do is that we need to start off in first round right in the corner and we need to separate that space there so that you're using and going right into that space. So let's create a slip knot and create our first one. Remember what I said for the corners. It's always gonna be five, five, five and the last one will be seven and it's based on the size stitches. So inserting in just to that space itself I want you to attach it with the slip stitch like so and then chain one and then you want to apply uh, five single crochets into that same space. So one and two and three, four and five. So here's the thing. So this next space here you can see that this has a division in it. You see how that's grabbing? So if you look really carefully here you'll notice that what's gonna happen here is that when you go to apply this you'll have two on one side of the division and two on the other. So if you look at it here so you have two. Here's the division right here and then the other one on the other side. So when we go to apply our fours in, in the middle okay we come into the one side okay so this is the next space over just like you see here where my finger is moving. So two will go on this side so one and two and then jumping in that same space but separate and keep this uh, in the middle and put the other two on the other side of that. Okay so you've just kind of worked your way into there applying for the, uh, leaving space for that. So then again going to the next one. So two will be into the one side. So each one of the spaces will work out like this as you work your way across to the next corner and then on the other side of that you're going to play your two. Okay so that gives you your four right in the middle. So as you hit then the outside here that is the one here. So you're going to hit the first, that first corner as we go to turn. So just coming into that space again and you're gonna put five. So one, two, three, four and five. And then continue to move along. So here's the next space. Do you see it? So two is gonna go on one side before the division. So one and two. Okay just slide that piece over if you have to. Just like that and then continue along. So the next space we'll have two on the one side before the division. So look at it like spaces with these uh, division um, crochets in there. So now you're about to hit the next corner again. So in the corners for this uh, size it's five. So one, two, three, four and five. So what you're just gonna do is you're gonna keep all working your way around that filling that in and as it fills in you'll notice that it will fill in quite nicely. So here is the original example like we had. So we had the single crochets that came in and we just went around just like I just showed you. Then you're gonna fasten off get rid of that. You go to the next one you'll start off in the corner. There will be a chain two. Okay that counts as a half double crochet and then four more. So you have your total of five and then again it's two and uh, it's four into each space. Remember there's a division in between. Then you're gonna have double crochet around. So you'll have five in the corner. You'll do the same thing with double crochet. You'll have five in here. You'll chain three which counts as one. Four more which gives you your five and then you've got your four into each space taking into account the division. There will be five in the corner. Then finally what's gonna happen on the final round you have seven trebles in there. So the first one will be chain four which counts as one of them and then you'll do six more trebles. So wrap that hook twice in order to get a treble and again just like you see here. So on the final one just like you see here there is no divisions because there's no more mesh to go into. Do you see that? So you will not have a division like you had in the rows below. So there'll be four into each and then as you hit the next corner 
there will be a total of seven all over again. So this is how to do the, the pop frame. It's actually really quite a nice frame and then you can really accent your uh, piece really quite nicely. You can do some really quite fun colors and have a good time at the same time. So until next time, that's Mikey on behalf of the cro uh, Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.